always was very interested in the human body, probably from early uh, high school, late middle school. And so the, the idea of doing science along with it was a little bit later. But now most of my time is spent doing research. So I'm in the wet lab. I'm performing experiments, analyzing results. Um, and just really pushing my PhD thesis forward. That's what I spend most of my time doing now. And often, you know, when I was studying, especially in the medical school portion of my training, and I get frustrated. I, there's, there comes a point where I just really know that if I play, I'll feel better. Was probably the only fourth grader to decide to study cirrhosis as a topic for a research paper rather than the Titanic. My aunt invited my mother and I to go to this music petting zoo when I was about five or so and so I asked my mom if I could play the cello. And at first she thought it was ridiculous, because it's like, why would a small child want to play a cello? Uh, but I basically was really annoying and nagging for a long time, and she eventually gave in. When I was younger, I actually spent some time living with my grandparents, and my aunt lived with them, and she was almost became a professional musician, actually. So I spent a lot of time with her. fondest memories from childhood are actually from chamber music camp over the summers. I would go to um, summer camps in Vermont and spend the summers playing chamber music with friends and those were you know really amazing times where I had lots of fun and met lots of wonderful people. got into medicine from uh, starting with my love of mathematics and science and applying that to the human body and I really loved the way that I could use that knowledge and the skills to connect with patients. between music and medicine. Um, in both, um, you uh, practice a lot and you uh, acquire skills, but then in the end, what makes those skills valuable is your ability to connect with other human beings and uh, to create a moment that only you and your audience or your patient um, is experiencing and really uh, using that to change someone's life. A stranger. 